It ain't much, but it snowed. Hot as it's smelling in the back before the front. Uh, let's go get some uh, crappy tires on Dinky. Drive to the gas station. Pump them up to like 20 PSI, which is over the max rated. So they're nice and hard and I can really slide around. I gotta go get gloves, my hands are too cold. I think I should go get my, uh, my rain jacket too so the wind doesn't blow through my hoodie. I think your tires are gonna be good and bad. Slight bit of hill. Oh, that'll be fun on Dinky, won't it? Starting things in the snow is just so fun. I wanna start this next. That runs really hot, so I wanna watch the snow just incinerate. I think I figured out why I keep twisting belts. Uh, I cracked the frame here. I broke them out there, and the bolt's not even in the transmission on the other side. I uh, don't know what happened there. Uh, I guess I've been hitting this thing a bit hard over the trails. <laughs> uh, even my shifting linkage has got a bunch of play in it now. That's not in there anymore. Hmm. The rope's frozen! Yeah. <laughs> that is the least impressive cold start I've seen so far. Come on! It's even getting more gas than just idle. Damn it! Sadly, I've had another belt pop, and the snow is also pretty much melted from me falling the tires. My camera lens is also fogged up, apparently. Uh, yeah, as my belt popped, I was noticing my belt guides, because they're attached to transmission mounts, they just jingle around. So, I basically don't have belt guides in the rear either. Here's some stuff, it's in a straight stretch. Yeah, I can drift it. Uh, I'm not even in top gear. down trees ah! if anybody's local one of them at him behind the church they go down close to my house I 
wasn't even trying to do that last one. At some point today, I am wheeling Dinky in the shed, firing up the heat and thawing off all this mushy wet stuff. And uh, I'm going to weld up that broken bracket. And when that's all good and secured and I have everything tightened and stuff, I'm, I'm going to look around and see if I have a bolt I can shove into the other transaxle bit. And if I don't, I'll get on the tractor's plow and get one.